Kwenye episode hii tutaona namna ya kutengeneza directory inaitwa media na kuifanyia registration ili iweze kutumika kwenye admin panel, okay? So admin ya login then aki access class inaitwa customers. Okay, so tume add customer mmoja na tume upload PDF. So niki click. Okay, so PDF hii haisomeki so page not found kwa sababu uh, directory ambayo itatunza mafile ya PDF haijakuwa registered. Okay, so na tutaona namna kufanya registration ya media directory kwenye project kwa sababu uh, kama ni mafile yote uki click download hutaweza kudownload. Okay, so hii ni license. Okay, so ni free ya license nikija katika models nikija katika models.py. Okay, so license ni hapa iko to models. file Okay, so upload it to license. So file lolote itakalokuwa uploaded itaenda katika license directory. So hiyo directory ya license hajiatengeneza na directory ya media itatengeneza. Okay. So ukizitengeneza utakuwa zifanyie registration, right? Okay. So nitakuja kwenye desktop start button. Okay. So nita navigate kwenye desktop. Okay, hii ni desktop. Nitaenda katika project yangu inaitwa my project. Okay, so nitafungua my project kwenye root level nitatengeneza new directory. Okay, so nitaipa jina la media. Okay. So baada ya kutengeneza media nitakuja katika project. Okay, so nitakuja katika settings, nitakuja chini mwisho kwenye settings nitasema import OS. Import OS, right? By then nitasema media. Okay. Underscore URL Iko true Nita recall Ile, ile directory ya media Ok so na hapa natumia Natumia relative path Na absolute path Ok so nitaanza na absolute path And nitaandika media Ok so nitafatua relative path Ok after then nitasema Chini hapa nitasema media Ok media Then root Ok media root then equal to os nitatumia dot parameter ku access path okay path yapo then dot nita access method inaitwa join so na join base directory then media media right okay so after then nita save changes kisha nitakuja katika file la url ya project as well so kwenye file you URL nitashuka chini hapa okay mwisho kabisa kisha nitaweka hii line so from django.conf import settings again from django.conf urls import dot static import static if settings dot debugs url io io is in settings of course hizo ni kodi ambazo ndizo zinawezesha kuweza ku load media eh, na image au pdf okay Okay, so now nipo kwenye position ya kuja hapa. So now na just ku select, then na click delete customer, right? Na click go. Okay, so nafanya confirmation. Okay, so page not found. So current project yangu i run, na kuja ku click run server. Okay, so now current server na run, nitakuja hapa nita refresh. Nita click continue. Okay, are you sure to down, to delete customer mwenye email address si oko inabonyeza yes. Okay? Okay, so nakuja kwenye customer, just click it, then add customer. So full name, for example, then resident, Dodoma, then uh, national ID, for example, state, and then date, and I just click date picker, for example, then uh, time, just click on time, click time. Okay, construction, for example, building, okay, earthquake and food, then uh, team number, for example, then about, so hapa nimesema, I'll just copy content ya mazupo kwenye Microsoft World ok, nukujia kuzi paste hapa ok, so now ni paste content, so nukujia kubonyeza uh, after of course, license ok, so license for example uh, business license, ni me upload ok, so now after that, nukujia kukliki save, ok, nikijia kwenye database, nikijia katika customers, ok customer mmoja mesha kuwa registered, ok, so now Nikija ku kwenye project, nikija ku click file PDF. Right. So file PDF linafunguka kutoka katika media. So baada ya kufanya registration na hii license. Okay. So hapo kwenye position ya kuadi more and more and more. Okay? Kuadi more customers. 